Hey, my name is Sebastian. I'm CTO of Yworks. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Y files dev suite to download the Y files for HTML software development kit. With this, you'll be able to launch the demos, play with the demos, create your own code, create your own applications and integrate Y files into your applications so that you can get great diagramming into your apps. Okay, let's go. First, um, I'm going to the console and make sure that I have the correct version of Node installed. Version 16, uh, 16, 16, I think, is the lowest one that we support for the Wi-Files Dev Suite. The Dev Suite is an NPM module that you can download and, and execute directly using the npx command. So npx Wi-Files minus dev minus suite is the command. This will download and install the Dev Suite, which runs a local development server which opens and greets you. Uh, you can read for this uh, or just hit the continue button. If you have downloaded Y files before, you can enter the path to the package in here. If you haven't, like me, you can just hit the download button, the button and it will bring you to the Yworks customer center where you can log in. I haven't logged in before, so I'm allowing cookies and I'm signing up first. So for this, I'm entering my email address and coming up with a good password and then I'm creating my account and now because I started the process from the dev suite uh, the dev suite uh, the integration for ask whether I can um, pass in the credentials or the token to the dev suite so that it can run locally so I ac accept this one which gets me back to the dev suite now I'm going to complete my profile uh, just some very a little information about my company and website which in this case is pretty obvious so I'm going to submit this and I need to verify my email because I didn't sign up with OAuth using Google or GitHub or LinkedIn which would have been an alternative so let me just get the email and Click on the email verification. So that's verified. And now after the evaluation has been uh, granted, I or the email has been verified, I can request the evaluation by hitting the button. This works automatically. Uh, if you have done this before, um, you might uh, receive an email from us before but typically this works automatically and is granted immediately so just hit start download which of course doesn't start the download but first requires you to accept the license um, but um, in order to download it i'll choose an, a location in this case i'll just use the desktop so this is now fetching the files from our server I'm preparing a download just for myself for my very own purposes. Uh, it will then download the package which contains all of the demos, more than 300 demos. There's a tutorials in there. There's the documentation here, the complete documentation, and of course the Y files with the typings that so to make them work with your IDEs. So the download is successful and extracted. Let's see what next. Um, I'll just hit continue while in the in the background, it's already preparing my package, running npm install on, and all this stuff. Um, let's just just put this in the background. And now this is the dev suite, which allows me to browse the demos, manage the demos. And by managing, um, I'm referring to like checking which files I have modified. So this is going to use a local Git installation to find. Uh, changes that I have made or allows me to revert those changes. In order to look at those demos, I'm, I'll have to start a the demo server, which is a local Vite server um, serving the TypeScript and JavaScript files and to my local browser. So I'm just starting the, the demo browser. Then I can search for some demos, like let's like the getting started, or like a let's take a look at, at the basic features um, not just the modified ones but the new ones 
So here's 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 the basic features tutorial. Let's start with I don't know basic interaction, and I can just hit the start button, and this will launch the demo from my local host. So this is running Y files from my PC downloaded with a an evaluation version, which uh, will allow me to use Y files for the next sixty days. Um, so the, of course there's source code behind those demos and if I want to look at these demos, I can hit the edit button and this will launch my IDE, um, which is either Visual Studio Code or WebStorm, depending on uh, what your preferences are or what's installed in your, in your environment. You can actually change that. So it automatically detected WebStorm in my case, but if you only have Visual Studio Code installed, uh, then it would be using this one. But you can always change that here over here. So now that um, WebStorm is installed and running, I can check out the application. And it's a very, very simple application here. So let's just change some code here. So I'm going to the graph component and I've got the uh, code completion running so I can get the graph here and let's call uh, create node and move the node, I don't know, uh, there's one overload where I can specify the location and size. Let's create a large node so that we can see it. Hitting save will automatically reload the demo. So here's my new node and this is the change that I made. Um, so back in the dev suite, I can now uh, see that um, this is one of the files that I modified and I can, uh, can bookmark that demo so that I can find it later on. And I can actually take a look at the diff that I made. So if I'm not happy with the diff, um, I could just revert the demo. I'll do that later on. And if I have a question, I can just request for support. So hit the request support button. This will show me all of the files that I have modified and um, there's some more modifications that I did, um, but let's just take a look at the basic uh, interaction file. So there's this line of code that I added where, where the new node is created. So then I'm sending this along to the friendly support people at Y files. So when I hit continue, uh, it gets me back to the um, support center where I can ask for help. Um, why is there, why, is there another node in my graph? And I'm attaching the demo diff. And now the message is sent to the friendly folks at Yworks. And once I get a response, this will also be shown in here in the dev suite. These are the messages that I got for the evaluation request. So no one has answered uh, in the previous minute. But you get the idea. So, and if you know that uh, you want to revert the demo to a certain state, just hit revert demo and this will automatically accept the demo and you've seen that it already um, changed the, the the live server already reflected that change. Okay, so what else can you do here? Once you've taken a look at all the documentation and the demos, read through the demos, read the documentation, saw the other videos, uh, you might be into creating your own very first Wi files application. This is also possible from within Dev Suite. There is, there's a couple of ideas how to get you started. You can use a, a project, project wizard, which uses our app generator. This allows you to create, for example, a Vue.js or React or Angular based or vanilla JavaScript based application. You, you can specify which, which features you want to have initially. So this will scaffold source code. Um, there's also the option to go and uh, fork our templates on GitHub, uh, work with the full app generator, or um, if for the curious, there's the, the manual steps available too, of course. And if you have an existing application, all you need to do is just like copy uh, this npm install code, uh, which uses the installation that I just downloaded. So um, pasting this into an existing application will add Y files to your package JSON so that you can use it right away in your app. 
That's it. If you have any questions, please contact our support team. Otherwise, have fun with Wi-Files. Wi